Hello and welcome to another edition of the SciShow Talk Show. Today we're talking about 3D printing, and we have lots of examples of 3D printing because of our guest. Hello. Whose name I forgot? Ben Maloof. Ben Maloof. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. This is amazing this, stuff that you have brought to us. So tell oh, me about you. what you do. I essentially 3D print for a living. So um, I, uh, I work for a company called Acuity Design, and we prototype, uh, we design and prototype products for people and companies. I think, I guess I brought one thing that is actually a prototype for somebody. This was like a, a skateboard wheel core. So they're just, so uh, they're, they're, that was gonna be cased in urethane. Right. Yeah. So, so they designed it, they sent the file to us, we printed it, sent it off to them, and then they can test it. And then um, they would have it mass produced in some other way. Right, yeah, they would okay. have it injection molded and, yeah. or whatever. But so yeah, 3D printing just enables, you know, relatively cheap production of plastic doodads. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, there's you know the the higher end 3D printers can do metal and things like right. that, but we don't right. we don't have that capability yet. So, so um, how did you get into this? What what do you know that makes you good at this? I was getting my graduate degree in media arts uh, in uh, integrated digital media, and the school bought a MakerBot Thingomatic, which was sort of the first mm -hmm. consumer level mass marketed 3D printer. I basically ended up being the one that did most of the assembly on it. So I was the first person to run a print on it, and then I just, you know, just sort of blew my mind. And, right. Um, and I was already doing uh, 3D modeling and 3D animation before that, so it was all of a sudden this way where I could say, okay, well, if I, you know, if I model this squirrel, which I didn't, but <laughs> if I had modeled this squirrel in the computer, you know, it's stuck, stuck in that two-dimensional plane. You know, you can rotate it around, but you can't touch it. And all of a sudden, you, you can, can make it a real make thing. Make it a thing. So. That's pretty great. Yeah. Um, so after, for so that sort of my thesis changed to 3D printing, and then next thing I knew, I was prototyping things for people and needed to buy a bigger printer. So I bought the parts and built a printer. Then I joined up with a team of mechanical engineers and started a company. So, nice. Yeah. Um, so some of this is your work and some of it is not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like these, basically all these vessel forms are things that I've designed. Yeah. So. Very cool. Um, and then I guess these these are sort of half my work, half work half the of work famous, of famous artist Michelangelo. Yeah, yeah. But he, I see, I gave him a kitty. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's going to be much happier now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he is obviously he's smiling. He's wearing <laughs> a little bunny hat. Um, so that's I mean that's one of the amazing things about three D printing too is you can take these objects, you can sort of take possession of objects that right. you formerly had no. Dominion over, right? Because along with 3D printing, we also have 3D scanning, um, and so with these, it was scanning cheap dollar store stuff and mm -hmm. smashing them onto priceless works of art. <laughs> <laughs> um, this uh, has been my favorite thing so far. Mm -hmm. I just uh, picked it up and I was like, "Does it come apart? What does this do?" Yeah. And then um, if you twist, it gears around into yes. another cube. Amazing. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's maybe some Rubik's Cube technology it, that's going to be added to this and then... You um, would, yeah, you would think that that would be the next logical step. <laughs> there's currently just sort of one website that hosts a lot of these files and that's Thingiverse. So it's the universe of things and so that object was designed by a person who goes by the, the name of Emmett and he designed this cube Amazing, made of weird. gears and shared it on Thingiverse. How much does this cost to print in materials? In materials, probably a dollar or two. Wow. Yeah, the the material for the for most of the consumer 3D printers is about uh, it's about forty bucks a kilogram. So maybe three bucks, but not much. I'd totally yeah. buy this for more than three bucks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you probably <laughs> wouldn't buy it for how much I'd need to charge for it. That's kind Just of the interesting. Just because thing. of the cost of the machine and your labor putting it together. Yeah, and the and, time and yeah. yeah. So. You know, I, I've seen those sold online for as little as 20, but those people are you know, right. probably not, not making, making a lot of money. money. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and then of course that's... This one is actually the, powered, so it just, uh, it just moves itself. The automated version. And this was another Thingiverse design where somebody said, well, if you just print this part and put it on a geared motor, you can have it sort of run and... Run on its own. On its own. That's awesome. Yeah. Now I get to show you an animal. An animal. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> and now we have 
uh, some uh, somewhat frightening animals crawling across your 3D printed items. How did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> it must be Jesse's turn. I don't know. <laughs> it's my turn with my weird animal friends. These are Holmes and Watson. Oh, good. Can you tell the difference? Yeah, no. I was gonna. <laughs> I do. This is Holmes, and that's Watson. That's yeah, yeah. Back and do you think no. that offends them? I don't think so. I think good. they're just fine. <laughs> <laughs> These are northern walking stick insects. Okay. So you can see that they're insects. Can you count their legs? They have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. These are not antenna. Those are oh, antenna. But look at that. Look what he's doing right now. Mm -hmm. He's making them look like antenna. It does look like antenna, doesn't but it? They hold them up like that. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Stop touching me, man. <laughs> I have to be a stick. <laughs> Trying to be sticks. Oh, so they have amazing yes. camouflage uh, to blend in. Now, if they were on... Okay, we have a ficus tree that these guys live on, and it sometimes takes me... You know, I want to sit there. I, I don't give up easy. So, you know, I don't, I don't spend five minutes and walk away. I have been there for 20 minutes trying to find these guys. They are amazing at camouflage. Um, They're very patient. Yes. Very no moving. Mm -hmm. But they have amazing, look at that. They can hang upside down. Oh, yeah. But his abdomen, you know, is uh, <laughs> a little bit heavy. <laughs> <laughs> what did they eat? These guys eat what they live on. So they eat leaves. That's all they eat. They don't have... A mouth parts to be able to eat anything else besides that. They have these amazing little antenna up there mm -hmm. too, but they do most of their feeling with these front two feet here. They have little hooks on their feet and also suction pads, mm. little sticky pads, so they can climb up any surface and hang upside down like this. Now they actually have to hang upside down to be able to molt. So insects, they molt, they have that exoskeleton and they have to, to grow bigger. They, they molt about five times in their life cycle, um, but in order to grow bigger, they have to molt and they're so weak, they don't have much muscle in those legs, mm -hmm. that if they don't have something to hang upside down on and use gravity to help, they'll get stuck and they won't make it through that mold. Hmm. So they actually don't have much power in those little flimsy little legs. Would you like to feel why, that? Why does it have so much body? Where are you going? Whoa, now you're moving. <laughs> now you're moving. It's just got a lot of body. It's, it's, a, it's a big animal. Body. So it's, this is all abdomen, and then the thorax is right there where all the legs attach to mm -hmm. it. It's head up there. Um, so the females are going to be larger than the males, and they need that extra space in their body to hold the eggs. And these are females? Or males? These are females, these, yep. Okay. Are they fully grown? They are fully grown, and I, these are very large northern walking stick insects. I mean, I think they're in their last molt. They've molted twice with, well, while we've had them. So... Um, and what's really neat is these guys, so they, they're mimicking plants so they don't get eaten by birds and things mm -hmm. like that. Actually, bats prey on these guys too. They tend to be nocturnal, um, trying to avoid predators, and bats use echolocation. They don't use eyesight to see them, mm -hmm. so they actually are pretty good predators for these guys. But, uh, so they're mimicking plants to protect themselves and help them live. What's really cool what these guys do is their eggs have a little piece of like sugary type substance um, attached to them and it mimics a seed that a, a plant would drop. So ants come along and they take that little, what they think is a seed, but it's actually an egg, and they take it back into their little ant hill and they eat that part that's good for them and they throw the egg into their waste pile. And then and these guys they, hatch oh, out of it. Hatch out in the little ant waste pile, yeah, which yeah, probably so has got some good stuff in it. They're really, really mimicking plants. Your mm -hmm. face is pretty terrifying. Crazy. It's pretty crazy, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. I, I, uh, we need to get, and you're trying to get me. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they look like a sci-fi show crazy alien. Yeah. If it was any bigger, I'd be... <laughs> <laughs> Leaving. Well, there are actually, so uh, stick insects, there's quite a few Maybe. different species. There's about 2,700 of these species. Look at his abdomen. Just I can draws. feel them feel <laughs> tugging on my skin. But the largest stick insect is 18 inches. Oh. Whoa. That's a huge bug. That's a big bug. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys aren't, aren't that big. This is about as big as they're going to get. These are huge insects. They're pretty big. So you cannot say that they are not that big. I can't believe they live in America and like you just never see them. Uh -huh. You don't see them because they blend in so the much. The color is They even go amazing. all the way up to Canada. Sorry. Yeah. 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 I mean, it looks it's exactly just, like mm -hmm. I'm looking at it. If, like the closer I get, okay, now it looks like a bug. But anywhere else, it just looks like a bunch of sticks. What are you doing? He's like, oh, God, <laughs> it feels around, good. He's like, yeah, stretch. Be a stick bug. <laughs> 
what, what's out there? What's out there? You don't have very good eyesight, huh? No, they don't. <laughs> There's no, no leaves here at all. So these so, guys can even, if they're gonna really try hard to pretend they're a stick, some will wave a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, pretending they're in a the, stick in the in breeze. I, I noticed that when I bumped, um, mm -hmm. yeah, bumped Michelangelo Oops. there. <laughs> yeah, we'll even. Move a little. They'll even go so far as losing, sacrificing a leg to still pretend that they're a stick. Wow. wow. They'll Indeed. just stay They'll there. They'll just be like, there goes my leg, but I'm really a stick. <laughs> I'm, still a stick. I'm not running. <laughs> they can regenerate it. Oh, Never. they can. Yeah. Okay, what? You can grow ask. legs back. Yeah. And we, we recently talked about poop, and you can, the back end there <laughs> is oh, going to deposit eggs and also poop, and it actually just kind of opens up, and this little round ball comes out. Little round poop ball. Yeah. Nice. It's actually quite amazing when they do it. You, <laughs> where did you, where do you Please. find these? Uh, you, in in America, so well, they're in you, the northern part of America. Where did you find these? We find these. These guys actually came from a friend that lives in Pennsylvania. Okay, gotcha. And these guys, there are they are illegal to own um, okay. for a normal person. They are a terrible invasive species. Uh, the Indian walking stick is probably the worst invasive species they have. They. People think they're really cool. Teachers mm -hmm. have them in their classrooms. They lay, they can lay hundreds of eggs, and then they would throw out the substrate, and the little eggs would hatch and just oh. decimate plant populations mm. in areas. So now they've they've put a ban on these guys. Yeah, I see. It's just sort of as they walk, they shift back and forth. Yeah, they kind of go. Like mm, they're mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I'm just a stick. You're just a stick. These are fascinating. I can't believe it's on me. <laughs> I, can I like? Try and oh. lift him off, and you can feel the. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> what? Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> you can feel the little uh, uh, hooks. No, the hooks. That yeah, not oh, what you. I didn't like that. <laughs> you're, you're supposed to be pretending to be a stick, man. Don't run away. Run away, run away. Oh, now he's on my shirt. Stick somewhere else. This is the shirt super sticky. <laughs> oh. I think you found a new friend, Hank. You're like a, <laughs> you're like a parrot. He's like, I gotta get to the highest spot. <laughs> You gotta get on the shoulder. He blends into your shirt there. He blends into everything. He's a stick. Except Michelangelo. No, he did not blend into Michelangelo. Come here. I still think he should crawl and scroll. Let go. Let go. Thank you. Throw your hands in the air. Thanks for showing off your stick bugs with us. You're welcome. I love you. Except your face. Scary face. I don't want to see your face anymore. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this has been a really fun episode of, of SciShow Talk Show. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you're you welcome. Me. It's been great. Yeah. When else do you get to have a stick insect on your hand? Thanks for inviting us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And thank you for watching. If you want to keep getting smarter with us here at SciShow, you can go to youtube.com slash SciShow and subscribe. Wave goodbye! <laughs> <laughs>